Hello everybody, Lee Toto 90 coming at you with another awesome video. That's not my intro. What's up everybody, Lee Toto 90 coming at you with another awesome video. This is going to be my app review of Touch Grind for the Apple iPhone and iPod Touch, and I believe the iPad is available too. You can check for Android, I'm not too sure. I really think they didn't put it there, but that's not what this is about. This is about Touch Grind. Yes, the original Touch Grind, when it was a skateboard instead of the BMX Touch Grind, which is for well, BMX, of course. Now, it does include a demo on this, but we're just going to ignore that for now. As you can see, the main menu is a skateboard wheel that you can spin around to select your options. You have the BMX demo, of course, the How to Play, which is a bunch of videos about tutorials, basic controls, navigations, some tricks, and combining tricks. Uh, Warm-up, you can have a small kickbox inside of a small park where you can roam around and just test all your stuff out that you just figured out. And really not much. I'd rather do jam session where you can actually see the biggest trick score that you can get, raw score without a multiplier, and my highest is only 16,000, I know it's a shame. Uh, you have competition where you can fight to get the highest score with a multiplier. My highest is 448,000 on this device. On my other device, it's over 2 million, I believe, but that's my other device when I was actually good at the game. It's been a while since I've played. But uh, you can also do local score with your friends on Game Center, which is included, or I believe there is an open faint option on this. I am not too sure. You can check that out for yourself if you do decide to go and get this. Um, again, it's a skateboarding game. So options you can have your sound effects on or invert your kick turn. So if you use your right hand to maneuver the skateboard, you do not need to have kick turn invert turned on. If you use your left hand, you might want to turn it on. So we're just going to do a quick jam session just to show you guys controls. So as you can see we have many skateboards to choose from and as you can see I've customized two of them already but you guys have to actually unlock these by competition. You have to get 15,000 points in a single run to unlock this board. You have to get 50,000 to unlock this board all the way up until the biggest one which is 3 million in one run. It's ridiculous, but the highest I've gotten was 400,000, so I have the Moshe Moshe. Next to highest that you really want to get is 500,000, which is Germain, and again, it keeps just going up from there. It's ridiculous, but might as well show you the customize command. The customize is where you can take a picture of something, or you can take a picture from your photo album and use it as a design for your skateboard, but be warned, if you have one of these new boards unlocked, which give you some really cool powers compared to the original touch grind board, which is this one by the way, I just customized it, you will lose these powers if you customize them. So that's why I only customized noob and touch grind, because it will not affect them in any way. I think it actually makes noob better. But as you go up in the tier, they get better and better, and if you customize them, blop, you're stuck with this one again. So let's go ahead and do a quick jam session with the mushy mushy board. As you can see, basic tricks, you have to use your fingers to slightly navigate. Let's see. And if you don't know... Well, that worked. Okay. <laughs> you can get a new score, like top score, every time that you play. And if you saw right there, the reason that I knew that rail was there was because it popped. As you get close to something, it will pop to indicate that you're almost on it. And that's actually a really good thing when you're trying to do tricks like this. You can kind of saw that the ramp popped, the little bubble that showed that I was going that way kind of popped to indicate that I was almost there. That's a great little feature they added just so that you know where you are. And uh, speaking of knowing where you are, if you hit the bottom right hand corner you can see this little search glass where you can see exactly where everything is in the park. And this is a very big park with kickboxes, rails, ramps, and almost anything you could really want. My favorite spot is right in here with the a line of rails, that's how I rack up a lot of my points, but if you really want to get good, you're going to have to use ramps, rails, kickboxes, every single thing that you can think of to get good. So back here, uh, let's go to the main menu real quick. You have resume to resume play, replay to replay the last minute of play in case you want to, say, record it or just view it for your friends. Play music, where you can play music off of your iPod in the background. Set a marker, which I'm going to do right now. Restart, which is restart the event, and main menu to go back to the main menu. Now you saw me sit hit set marker. So say I set that marker there and I just travel far away. And I'm just like, oh man, I really like that spot. I wish I could just go back there instantly. Click on the zoom finder, find where you put the marker, which is the big yellow and black X. Tap it and you will appear back there. If you try to tap anywhere else that isn't where you set a marker, you will not be able to go there. And that was crazy close to my actual, oh god, no, no, no. This game can get relatively addicting, but uh, different trick combinations, 
you know, ollie, nolly, kickflip, heel flip, impossible, variations, including all of them. But that is jam session, and let's go ahead and do a quick round of competition just to show you guys what the difference is. So I'm going to use the Mushi Mushi board, of course, and tap to start. We have a time limit of 100 seconds to get the highest score possible, and it is cumulative here. So I got 10,000 there. My multiplier went to times 2 because every 10,000 points you get, you get a multiplier times 2, and you multiply your multiplier times 2. And I just lost it. That sucks. That worked. So now I have a multiplier times 4. So now I have a multiplier times 6. It just adds times 2 to your multiplier every single time. And na 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 That would have been sweet. Dang it. Oh well. And now I can't play worth a crap. Alright, this is fun. So let's see if I can get a new board for you guys in the some odd seconds I have. Just gonna look quickly where my grind box is over there. Alright. Did I pass it? I don't believe so. And the time does not run out when you're searching for stuff, because that would be cheap. I guess I basically did pass it. Dang it, that's a dark slide. Come on. Yes, dark slides are apparent in this game, and it is a pain to land them. So anyway, our time is up, and we got 344,000. Not quite enough to unlock a new board. But anyway, that is basically Touch Grind. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this little app review. I like the app overall. If you did enjoy this video, leave it a like, comment, rate, and subscribe. Okay, thanks. Bye.